We are surrounded by the stars tonight and new tonight on the night team. We're taking you high above us as history was made in outer space today as the United States marks a milestone in space exploration and the kickstart of what's being called the lunar economy. The lunar lander successfully landed on the moon today, marking the first time the U.S. has done so in more than 50 years. ABC's Jacqueline Lee explains its mission. It was a nail biter. The countdown to touchdown was watched around the world. Lunar lander Odysseus making history, marking the first time the U.S. landed on the surface of the moon in more than 50 years. Welcome to the moon. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson emphasizing how historic this moment is, calling it the landing of a lifetime. Odysseus has taken the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. The journey to safely land on the moon was a bit rocky, initially delayed and battling communications issues. The spacecraft relying on autonomous controls in the final descent, launched on a SpaceX rocket carrying a bounty of NASA instruments to embark on a new adventure in science and innovation. It was a week-long journey to the moon. Intuitive Machines IM-1 Odysseus, affectionately known as Odie, launched to the moon last Thursday. Houston-based company Intuitive Machines built the U.S. lunar lander and is partnering with NASA, the space agency confirming it is paying $118 million to get its experiments on the moon during this mission, part of a program to kickstart the lunar economy. We need to know as much as we can about that environment to sustain life and so that we can get not only uh, human presence on the lunar surface, but that we can get the science and the knowledge and the data back that we need. To, to change our world, quite frankly. Intuitive Machines partnered with San Jacinto Community College, allowing students to help build the lander. I had everyone's name etched on the bottom feet of the landing gear so that their names will be indelibly imprinted on the surface of the moon when we touch down softly. This marks the third attempt to land on the moon this year. NASA's Peregrine mission failed because of a fuel leak, forcing it to return back to Earth and burn up on reentry. Japan's SLIM mission stuck the landing but was upside down, making it impossible to deploy its solar arrays. The spacecraft has seven days to finish its mission, gathering both sunlight and Earth views. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.